Hey, good morning. Um, so I wanted to shoot a video about five things that I don't like about this car, this Honda Element that I've owned for more than six years. Uh, six years, yep. I think it's about six years, but anyways. Uh, first one I'm gonna mention is the MPG of this car. This car, uh, of course, you know, has a box design that's not aerodynamic. Also, a 2.4 liter, uh, 100, uh, approximately 160 horsepower. I think it's under power for this, uh, this car. You know, this is a pretty heavy SUV utility vehicle um, it gets about mid 20s you know that's what I was getting originally about 27 miles per gallon uh, on the long drive and city driving you really don't get a lot more you get about like low 20s nowadays you know with my bigger tire I have uh, two sides up and I have a lift kit also um, a rooftop awning and that decreased my MPG to like 23 highway 22 sometimes you know depends on which way the winds blowing and street it's really bad it's like 17 18 and I hate that you know I wish uh, Honda built a turbo or a hybrid model for this car I mean there wasn't any hybrids then back in 2008 I mean not for this type of car but if they were ever to build them they should definitely consider a turbo model with a eight-speed or something or a hybrid uh, if anything electric maybe in the future <laughs> uh, so that's my top uh, dislike on this car and the second it's because I daily drive this car and I notice like every single little thing on it uh, the ride quality of this car it could use a lot of improvement like it rolls a lot the body rolls a lot and then every time you hit a bump you feel everything like you feel all the little bumps all the little creases you hit on the road and on top of that that goes into number three which is the, the noise level like driving inside the car you hear wind noise of course suspension then you hear the hollow interior of this car the plastics uh, it's it's better on my car because I've done the you know the sound mats all around the doors the floor uh, the trunk like the spare tire and even the roof you know to be honest I did all that except the front part the dash the floor that's the last part I have to do and the car I can still hear you know hear everything from the engine bay like when I rev it and uh, yeah just the plastic in here and I have the carpet too I have the OEM carpet that I got from the junkyard that helped a lot too with like just the overall sound I notice when I go camping or something, I pack this car up to the rim. It helps a lot, like all that echo, it's gone. It soaks up all the noise. So obviously I think it's the design of this interior. It's just the cheap plastics and not enough sound insulation um, at all in the doors and like on the body. So that's the second and the third, the right quality, the sound, and going on to the fourth, which is a pretty important one these days, it's an issue with the Honda Element. Um, the bottom car, I mean the bottom, I mean the clearance and the bottom of the car where somebody could just like slide in there and steal your catalytic converter. And that's had happened to me like five years ago. I don't know, maybe five, six years ago. Right after I got the car and you know, those aren't, cheap to replace they're like two three grand especially the factory one and then it's just like man you got to get one of those cat cages to make sure you don't get your cat stolen and obviously obviously mine it's after marketing now I've been using it for 
that many years and it went out recently it clogged up and it couldn't figure out what it was so right now i'm driving a gutted <laughs> gutted cat element and i do feel the extra torque but i'm throwing up some nasty smoke i mean you can't see it but it smells like hell so yeah so the fourth one is pretty much you know the clearance of the car makes it a target for for uh, thieves, you know, low lives thieves to steal your uh, catalytic converter. And on the forum and Facebook pages, I've heard like dozens of story, more than a dozen, man. Obviously, people just waking up. Even there, there's even well, waking up and finding out their cat's been stolen, and then there's videos of them. Uh, outside of their house in the driveway there's somebody like cutting it off and they scare them off it's like come on this car is just a target like i know the other cars people are into are the previous i mean not the previous the pre prius not toyota prius but the elements like the number one victim of uh cat cat thieves that's why i call them cat thieves so on to the last thing that i really not like about this car is um the, there's nowhere to hang this like phone thing I have it right now right on top of my AC AC vents and I don't like it it's like way too far I have to reach my arms always sometimes I hang it here right on the bottom or on the window but that's also no good because it's like right in front of the AC vents and it doesn't make any sense so i don't know if you guys have any suggestions commented on the you know on the at the bottom and then uh, let me know what type of uh i guess these uh mobile phone holders is best for this car i think the previous owner actually taped something here which i might do because then it's just annoying having this up here all the time i have to clip it on i have to like move my body forward uh other than that, everything else is pretty decent. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've forgotten something that, you know, you might find very annoying on this car. Um, of course, I didn't mention like, you know, they should have better engine options. Maybe like the TSX motor with a 200 horsepower, better gearing, you know, no uh, transfer case like some of the real four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive car no like center lock and none of that crazy stuff i mean this is a pretty basic all-wheel drive uh element so you're gonna get what you pay for i guess um but it's okay you know i've taken it off-road light off-roads uh you can see that on my element page it's uh element republic check out pretty much all the places i've been to and well that where i used to go i have a kid now so i don't really do much of that just like you know grocery shopper type of vehicle now and hauling stuff around but you know when i used to enjoy all that stuff yeah this car could handle some uh hills and rocky you know type of surface but you, this car needs momentum to go up any of those slopes, you know? It's like, you can't, you can't like go from a dead stop. That's the downfall of that. So anyways, if you like the video and you have any suggestions and comments about the things you didn't like about the car, go ahead and comment that and I'll be sure to reply to that and, uh, you know, share that as well and then uh yeah subscribe and go to my um element page too on instagram i think i just mentioned that earlier it's element republic and my other page is project kod that was my travel travel page um also have another uh page i think if you know me from uh the facebook groups i sell these element shirts uh, it's kind of hard to see now let me get the adjustments right uh it's pretty much element inspire products 
they're all on the website I'll put on the link below uh, the description box so yeah have a good one